What's up guys, XB Jeffy back with another video. And today I'm gonna do the 2000 subscriber video special slash the how I live in a car every day video 2.0. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited I hit 2000 subs. That's pretty sick. Took me a while to get there, but you lucky guys that are subscribed are gonna be able to see the coolest car camping setup ever. So be ready for that. I just woke up here, guys. So I'm trying to make this video pretty candid. Um, I still got some of my uh, window covers on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of just do a full type of video. Um, I've been camping up here in the National Forest for about, about a week now. Um, kind of off and on. There's certain days where I have to work like a night and then a morning. So I'll stay in the, in the town. But uh, I've been coming out here pretty much regularly. There's another couple people down yonder, um, closer to the actual campsite that I see almost every day, doing the same thing I'm doing. So as long as you're cleaning up after yourself and you know not shooting shotgun shells randomly, I think uh, I think this is pretty fine. So I'm really hoping I can find a little spot like this in, in Cali where I can you know work a job and and uh, go to the beach and stuff, but also maybe come out into the national forest and do some free camping. So anyway, guys, enough blabbling. Let's get into it. So there's a uh, there's a couple new modifications I've done. Obviously the roof rack with the Yakima Space Cadet box, and up there I got my clothes and a few other things. So let's check it out. All right. So yeah, we got my camping chair up here. We got my hubcaps. I I want to paint them, so I got them up here just kind of chilling out. And I got a bag of like actual shorts and underwear, and then I got a bag of. I think just some more random stuff, coats, and then I got dirty laundry in the little bag right there. But that's pretty much it. You guys have got some running shoes. That's about it up here. And I've learned that, you know, you're going to have to have certain things. And that's just how it goes, especially if you're not in town and you're doing this a lot. Um, having that roof rack is money. And what I do, you guys, is when I'm getting firewood... I got my box on the right side there, so I'll put my firewood, I'll get some logs, put them on the rack, drive down to my spot, post up, get a fire going, super sick. But anyway guys, on the inside, let's get it first and foremost guys. I went to Walmart the other day and I got myself, I got myself this sick skin board with the pirate themed art on it. That is so sick, man. Not only is it a skin board, but it's like a nice art piece in my little home. So this baby easily goes on the wall there for a little art display. Um, we got a propane bottle here. We got a hatchet that I've been using to get kindling. And uh, then we got cooking stuff, you guys. I've been cooking. Instead of eating out all the time, I'm starting to cook more, and it's actually really fun. Um, I got my single burner stove right here, so it attaches to the propane. Um, down there, I got some uh, can openers, some tongs, just some overall cooking equipment. I got a skillet, and I got a little uh, cast iron skillet there too as well. And then in here, I got cutting boards and all, all kinds of ingredients. I got potatoes, uh, foil, spice kits, uh, olive oils, stuff like that, so... Yeah, guys, I've been cooking a lot lately, and it's working out really good. But yeah, as you guys can see, not a whole lot's changed. And it's nice and cozy in here in the mornings, guys, with the blinds up. When I have all the blinds up, I just sit in here and read and just, you know, be thankful that I'm alive another day. Um, I got this cool little curtain thing right here um, that it's not a full curtain. It's if I kind of want a little more darkness in the car, um, just for extra in case I want to read, but I don't want, I want to see out, but I don't really, you know, want, want it completely dark. And, uh, currently I got my seats folded down back here. So we got a nice little, little lounge area. Um, so what I'll do is I'll sit here and I'll eat my food and then I'll go up into the cot here and get some shed eye. So let me take these curtains down. I just, I just really like to share with you guys how nice it is in here. It's, it's seriously nice. And what I've been doing with the curtains is, uh, 
I got a little uh, cubby thing. I've been, that's what I was gonna say back there. I got these cubbies from Walmart. These things are actually pretty nice. And what I do is I stay more organized with these cubbies. I put all my curtains in the container and it just so happens to slide perfectly underneath the cot. So I can get two of those. I'm gonna get another one soon. Um, and then down there, I got my backpacks and my, uh, my blanket. So this is what I'll do in the morning, you guys, is I'll come in here and uh, I have to put my phone right here if I can. Mm, that's gonna be tough. One second, you guys, one second. Probably won't be able to see what's going on here, but that's all right. Ah! There goes the whole video. Bro, come on. Just for a second, can I have you stay? Thank you. But yeah, guys, got a full bed seat up. Grab that cushion right here. Bam. We in there. And then... What else? What else do we need to do here? And then that front curtain. So, well, not a curtain, it's just a front windshield. Front windshield cover, and this thing is, honestly guys, this is all you really need to start off with if you just want to stealth camp uh, or take naps and not really live out of your car. Get yourself one of these, make sure it's black on the inside and your car will be blacked out simply by this. Take this out, and bam, we in business. What I do with this is I just fold it up nice and good, blanket. I don't know if I showed you guys, but this thing gets nice and small, and uh, I use it almost every night. Because up here, it's actually kind of chilly. I'm up here in northern Idaho, up by Canada, basically. You know, and it's summertime now, but that creek is nice and cool, and uh, it's very chilly in the nighttime here. But yeah, guys, as far as the front of the car here, um, I got this storage container for the front seat. It's like a storage organizer. I can put drinks here. I got my deodorant, um, my, my fan here. Um, this is a USB charging fan, so I charge that every day when I drive, and then at night it's fully charged and ready to, to blow a nice cool breeze on my face. I just recently got this Black Web, $13, this Black Web uh, battery charger. It can charge my iPhone twice um, off of one single charge of it, so that's been very useful. I actually just used it to get the phone going this morning because you know, guys, when you live out of your car, it's hard to always keep your stuff charged. So you gotta have external batteries. But this thing is absolutely key, you guys. Instead of just putting stuff everywhere on my passenger seat, now I have room um, to kind of keep stuff more organized. <laughs> and you guys aren't seeing, you guys aren't seeing my magazine right there, right? I don't want you guys seeing that, okay? There's no internet out here, right? So I gotta, you know, gotta figure something out. But yeah, guys, and then aside from that, I got this tote now that I'm using down here. And this tote is my cooler, basically. I got some brewskis, waters, LaCroix, and I got my shoes on the ground there. I'm kind of sorting out the shoe issue, but I think overall, guys, this is working out really well um, as far as livability. Um, I've showed you guys everything up there. In the front of that seat is basically where I put all my trash inside bags, and that's done. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys that watches. Peace out. Subscribe and like the video and have a great day.